here to bring you an important message from my friend Dank Templar in his incredible words brought to life by me, your willing vessel. Protoss versus Terran is Garbo right now. Pure Garbo. Let's learn more. Terran has massive advantage early game now that charge is freaking bad in the matchup and it's because the zealot is not capable of dealing with early terran aggression be it all ins or strong timings the zealot is bad at holding the front line now yes being able to micro them more is nice but blizzard has to look at freaking terran all in strength that they're going to neuter a unit and now widow mines still have that imbalanced plus shield damage tag with no reason to have it now zero on top of a totally imbalanced upgrade that makes mines able to run up and burrow but you can't stop on top of this bcs have no, still have no counter in tvp when it gets to the late game none frankly this patch is pissing me off so bad and i quit the last time the balance team screwed up this badly blizzard fix your bloody game this is david kim levels bad shame on you Yes, this is a bit ranty, but I am livid. The state of the matchup is pure Garbo right now. What does he mean by Garbo? It's open to interpretation. It was almost always broken in this dumb, crappy patch with needless changes. Wait, broke it. It was always almost broken in this dumb, crappy patch with needless changes broke it. see what the people have to say. Oh, you are now in my service. Widow minds. Reasonable responses. I'll try blink first. Still pissed I can't open the same build I was already doing. That crap. Just had a great PvP P PvT. Dude went battle mac with a buttload of safety tanks. We had some epic micro-intensive battles between charge lots, void rays, and Cyclone, Hi Cyclone Hellion mine. All was fine until he started clumping eight-ish mines together and burying them in a battle. That crap is so unbalanced. It looks like it's just one guy and another guy just going back and forth. Just having a conversation, just having it out. One, two, one, two, one. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Friendly toss. I honestly don't see the problem. I'm platinum too, so not a skill player by any means, but I absolutely stomp in PvT. I float between 75 and 80% win rate. Struggle hard with Zerg, though. Just one sentry to hallucinate and guardian shield. And you can scout him so easily if he's going BC or big timing push or just open Stargate against Terran. With the new speed upgrade, Void Rays are not a meme anymore. And uh, and Mass, they absolutely counter BCs. Yeah, he has Yamato, but it's hard to individually target Void Rays in a ball. If he teleports into you, he is screwed. He can't run away since Void Rays shoot while moving and can do alignments to boot. He goes, Mac, you should be able to tell, and, and using just one sentry, as I said above, you should be able to scout it. I've never had an issue with Widowmine, but maybe at the higher levels it's more difficult. If I see Widowmine, I just go Stalker, maybe with Blink and a Robo. Stomp's mass Widowmine, especially if you go Colossus too. He has to invest tons of gas into him. As far as the charge change, I think it's an upgrade, personally. He can't cut you endlessly with Stim, Concussive Shell Bio, and, and you can run away and respond faster. The only scenario where I prefer the old Zealots would be defending drops, because it's better to have burst damage when you warp in Zealots to defend. Also, if you like going Twilight Tech early, try mixing in a DT rush. You'd be amazed how often you catch them with their pants down. You can massively slow down any push. Doesn't include a Raven. Friendly Toss. PVT is a scam! 
Why does the Cyclone have 15 leash range? Why do Vikings beat every unit? Why do BCs have no counter? Why do mines have an upgrade that allows them to instantly burrow? Why do tanks not need to research siege? Why do medevacs need to be faster? Why do planetary fortresses need to be able to take out a maxed army by themselves? The list of questions is endless. I am absolutely dumbfounded by everything in about this matchup. I've been nearly 6k MMR and I root lose to 4,500 MMR Terrans, not even hyperbole. All of their units are just flat out better, and it's not even remotely close. The premise of this matchup is so oh, dumb, it's like if Zerg could service. only make Hydras. They were just supposed to out-expand the guy enough and do enough multi-pronged attacks that they win, regardless of only being able to make Hydras. This analogy would, wouldn't be apt, since Hydras actually do DPS, unlike every toss unit. Early game, mid game, late game, spamming basic low tier units because there is zero power increase to be had by teching anything. It's such a god awful matchup that enrages me to no end. It defies all common sense. Apparently, feedback zapped someone's energy before, as intended, and god forbid killed a unit in Bronze League or something, so it had to be nerfed. Just like the Observer needed to be. Ghosts need to have EMP buff because, you know, who can even make up a reason? It's all embarrassing and biased. It's pathetic. Let's find uh, authority on the matter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can't. We've gone down this road. Complaining about the Zealot is so ridiculous, yet everyone finds a way. The Zealot has been the same in that regard since the dawn of Brood War. I'm not gonna com semicolon, nice. I'm not gonna complain that the tank does a lot of damage and isn't a high micro unit. However, I'm gonna wonder why my siege units aren't allowed to do similar damage, or why siege doesn't need to be researched anymore. The Terran Huaz are game breaking or show zero consistency. They're hypocritical and biased. Most people forget the High Templar even has an attack because it's 3 DPS and the High Templar is still looking for its first kill from its auto attack. That's not the point of it. The Overseer got the same treatment as the Observer. You have scan. There's nothing to complain about. How often does Blink DT get used? When is the, what is the game-breaking implication of Blink? Every game I see or someone gets DT Blink, it just makes me sad. The guy has to make 10 or so DTs and try to blink on top of a planetary to kill it, because his maxed out army can't attack into a planetary. Has to resort to tricks to try to kill a fringe, ba fringe base. It's amazing. Throwing away all that gas for a chance to kill a base? Sick. Terran has so many god units that I'm happy if I can even beat a diamond Terran. Swear to god, every match, I feel like I'm up against a 10-time GSL winner simply because he can make way better units than I can, and his army is 10,000 times more mobile than mine. I gotta channel Neeb to beat players over 1k MMR below me. The Viking used to be a joke unit in Haas. Now the unit is more intimidating than Broodlords have ever been. All of Terran Air has been overbuffed to the nth degree, all of Legacy of the Void. You can't beat any Terran with a brain or has at least one hand in the late game. We're supposed to be this technologically advanced race, and all we are is a punching bag that has to result to attack where he isn't, cower and hide if he gets close. Rinse and repeat. Toss masses stalkers late game. As I already said in this thread, a hundred supply of vikings and a few ravens can beat a hundred stalkers. Two hundred supply. They own stalkers. They own every air unit. Imagine if you freaking create a synergy, or make a BC, or add in some banshees. Both of my hands are tied behind my back, and you want me to talk about the zealot? What is the observer finally balanced? Is the assimilator, fi assimilator finally not had to have too much HP? Anyone who can find something to complain about in regards to toss, Deserves an A++++ in creativity and or should be locked up in the insane asylum. Give me a break. I'm looking for closure here. Where's my closure? You gotta go to the uh, 
the starter portraits to find it. And to conclude this... Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna scroll up after this final one. Responding to, my point was that I support siege mode being automatic and that I support warp gate being automatic for each gate. What's your position? And now. I have no idea why you'd ever compare those two. As a macro player, I feel it's a nerf that warp gates are automatic now. All it does is make Protoss versus Protoss a tad harder for me. I wish they would revert it, if anything, would make the game easier for me. It always baffles me how people view removing upgrades as a trivial thing. It makes timing attacks much stronger. It makes everything stronger because it's just giving Terran a free tank. It, it would be like making the RoboBay free. It completely changes how many different types of units you can have at X time and dramatically increases your power potential. In Brood War, in, in Terran vs. Zerg especially, when you decided the research siege was one of the most important things in regards to whether you would win or not. In my book, I'm pretty sure I even called it the most important thing. If you research siege before you pushed out, you lose every time in normal games. Your timing had to be spot on or Zerg would either get a fourth base uncontested and you'd lose or you'd research siege too late and you lose in the middle of the map because of it. Removing upgrades, it's just removing intelligence need to play the game and making the game more broken. I can't stand it. If you had a balance patch that said Toss will gain 150-150 at the three minute mark, people would cry and cry about un how unfair that is. However, if you remove the need to research an expensive upgrade, which is very similar, no one cares. It's sad. Unfortunately, a coherent point though may be irrelevant to the greater conversation. But with that, I would like to conclude. Vetti chimes in. I knew about Pasta Carbo, but haven't heard about Protoss Garbo. If you've heard more than you've ever wanted to hear about Protoss Garbo, like and subscribe to show solidarity with pick something garbos everywhere thank you good night and good luck